<laughs> and you also have a lot of interesting choices to make with this ditto as well. Do you try and send it out first, get the early copy in, or do you save it in the back when your opponent's at their strongest potentially and try and get the copy then? I think no. We're going to see the line up right here. For sure. I think the best play would probably be using it as a counter option because, again, um, the main hang up that Ditto has is you don't want to switch it in and then it takes damage and takes hits and then it's not even really able to do anything. But if one of your Pokemon goes down, which is probably going to happen against Hylorex, you switch in, get the boost, and you're able to even threaten knocking it out with the high horsepower, for example. So it's just a very effective Pokemon. It has Terra type Ghost to help resist any kind of fake out shenanigans that might come out. And one other important part I want to mention about Artan's team especially is he says that um, it's probably biggest weakness would be Maridon, which I definitely agree with. Um, the electric and just the huge special attack is such a big problem for him to deal with this Pokemon. In fact, we're not even seeing the Smeargle leading. Um, we both, yesterday we saw that it was not very effective for him. Him losing it in the first turn both games, but now we're seeing a Terrasalization coming out already, and it's going to be going onto the Maridon. Just get that extra potency with the electric Terrasalization to start things off. You've seen the electric Terra type come out, going for the full sweep on this Maridon here. Now we're going to see a Terra be committed by Artan and Retaliation. This is going to be a Terra. Ground, trying to shut down this Maridon and keep this little fur graph up. Yeah, and I think that's a very smart usage here. Calyrex is going to protect itself in case it's going to go for a Discharge or even if it goes for Electro Drift. Uh, but the ground is not going to help it resist a full power Draco Meteor. Something you got to try calling out. It's not going to go your way. And uh, you are going to lose your Terra and one of your Pokemon in the same turn, in the same move here. So Michael, really feeling good right now. Your things are just going as planned. Protect is going to get block. Is going to block out the uh, Incineroar's move there, which might have been fake out. And now, going to the second turn, you have to figure out a way to try to recover your uh, loss there. Or soon is going to be the next Pokemon to come out. And uh, no better Pokemon than this one to try to bring things back for you. Exactly with that. Draco Meteor still going to be hitting relatively hard. The Flare Blitz also it's putting a lot of pressure on that Calyrex. Yeah, it did a lot of things. good options here. There's four super effective moves, or three super effective moves here. Mm. With that, Calibrex protecting itself last turn, it's going to be completely exposed this turn. Draco Meteor is going to come out onto the Ursaluna. It's going wow. to do really significant damage. Again, that Maridon was working with minus two. And in fact, it's going to knock out the Ursaluna, just completely take it out, not even worrying about the Calibrex, which again, honestly makes sense to me. Um, Calibrex works when you have something to protect it. When it's just on its own, what can you do? With the Trick Room also going off, this makes it so that uh, Ursaluna and the Calyrex won't be acting first next turn. Now, you just have to worry about the Glacial Lands and the Urshifu coming up, but Urshifu is going to be pretty fast, and it's going to be running... Uh, this one is going to have the Choice Band, so... It's, it's not going to be moving second uh, after uh, Incineroar here. Second after instant. Actually, it's going to be, remember, Trick Room, so it's going to be going, uh, it's going to be Calyrex first. Oh, you're right, yes. yes. Calyrex first, but here's the thing now. This is a single strike Urshifu. If this is a water type, that'd be something you got to worry about a little bit more, but with that Ditto still in his pocket, he could threaten with Glacial Lens pretty well still. Um, Whimsicott's going to be the play instead, switching it out. It does have Focus Sash, so any one-shot strategies aren't going to oh, be too nice effective. switch out. Switch Double out. switch out. Into the Ditto, yeah. Copy. Oh, copy. What's it gonna get? It's two good copy options here. Probably gonna be the Calyrex. Yeah, it's whatever's yeah. parallel to it exactly. there. Yeah, so... Okay, that's true. I forgot that it's whatever's parallel. You don't get to choose. So that's another thing that you gotta worry about too. But now... Calyrex is gonna use that Glacial Lens. It's gonna break the Focus Sash of the Whimsicott, and it's not gonna do too much on the Ditto, thanks to it now being a Calyrex itself. But even so, even if he just switches out next turn, now he has a Calyrex on his team. He has two Restricted Mons. Yeah, very strong choice here. He has two Restricted Mons. Both just gonna be absolutely... <laughs> just can dominate through here. But I would even say, maybe even swapping to the Incineroar might be the play here. Just to get that so extra attack lowering in here. Yeah, get the Intimidate off. It's going to really make life hard for the Urshifu. Uh, actually, Rex losing that bonus. Oh, wait, no, the clear, clear amulet. amulet. I, I know that uh, crits ignore like defensive boosts on the opposing Pokemon, but do they ignore your own stat drops? I don't know for I sure. I don't think so. I think it, it 
just hits as if it was a normal move there, maybe, uh, with the stat drops as well. And now the fake out here. Mm -hmm. Calyrex looking for some options here. Urshifu would be a smart option. It's a safe option, at least. You're going to be guaranteed to get the fake out um, since it has no attack and it's choice banded. So you know what moves it's going to be throwing out. Um, but with the close combat coming up from the Calyrex, it's not even going to knock it out. It's pretty brutal right now for Artan here. And Ditto's own Glacial Lens is going to come out and knock out the Urshifu. Wow. No, it's going to hang on by a thread. Again, this is not Focus Sash. It's just really low. Um, it just got taken out so close, so narrow. But now, with this next turn coming out, Incineroar's life is threatened. It's going to go for that Flare Blitz just in case it survives, but it is most likely going to fall here. The Rhydon's still hanging on in the back, so you're not too upset about this. Trick Room's going to mean that Urshifu is not going to get a chance to act here. It's going to go down next um, after this, uh, this Glacial Lens comes out. But that choice band means you don't get the opportunity to switch into the Soccer Punch. And this is Artan's last Pokemon here, is this, uh, is this Ice Rider. And now we have Michael's real Restricted coming out, which is the Maridon <laughs> coming out into this solo Calyrex. Exactly, and now with the swap out coming through, all those Draco meters don't even matter at this point. Electric Tank getting a reset as well. This is going to be an absolutely brutal fight for Artan as Toe Restricted. Having to deal with that is absolutely awful. Yeah, so Glacial Lens is going to come out. It's actually... Wow! Oh! It was a crit. That could have wow. been huge. That is a massive crit right there. Artan could have straight up won the game here if Maridon was just even slightly weaker or if it had one extra boost. That's going to be insane damage. But thankfully, Maridon hanging on by thread is going to be able to take that game over for Michael so close. It might have even been like a range thing where yeah. there's like the ranges of damage that could have been done. This is definitely the closest game close. we've seen today. Sure. Yeah, coming down to just a little bit of health already did an amazing job there of playing that one out. But it looks like Michael is going to be the one coming out on top. As you can tell, that ditto was very, very strong. Very, very interesting curveball to throw at your opponents. Yeah, and this is where the real element of Pokemon comes into play. This is where it starts to shine, is all the different variations and things you can try out, things you can try to get away with and experiment with, so many different things you can do. And both of these players are bringing really interesting things to the forefront here. Whether or not we're gonna see the Annihilate or Furigaraph or anything of the vast variety of Pokemon that Artan's bringing out here on his team, he's gonna have to figure out what he wants in this next game. But I think he's gonna try to make some adjustments here as he wasn't able. It's a lot of, um, I feel like with this team, it's very reliant on finding success in the first turn, but it's a two-sided coin there. You know, it, it can either go very well for you on that first turn or it can be devastating. And unfortunately, so far, we've only seen what happens when that first turn goes wrong for him, losing his Ferrigarath Fer and that Terra in the same action. And uh, you just have to try to pick up the pieces as best as possible. Exactly. Couldn't have worded it better myself. But now, we didn't see the Smeargle last time. We didn't see the Annihilate either. So maybe we'll see a bit of a swap. But like you said, it doesn't play very well into that Maridon. And it's probably not going to play too well if you bring that Calyrex Ice as well. Because that Ditto can just copy it from now on. It's, it's a really tough decision of what you want to be going up against. Ditto, like... Uh, again, the, the main issue with bringing Ditto usually is the fact that you sack, you risk a turn of your Ditto doing nothing, and you also risk your Ditto not being good, as good as the opponent's Pokemon, but with the choices, with the moves, with the kind of way things are working in this regulation, Ditto just finds so much value, especially at the very least against Artan's team, where Every choice is good. We're seeing the Annihilate come out now. This Annihilate... Oh, leading with the Ditto is going to be crazy. Oh, and it's parallel wow. to the Calyrex. Oh, that's a huge call out. Fortunately, at the very least for Artan, um, Calyrex, again, is going to resist that Glacial Lance and Annihilate. Um, there is no... Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Two restricted on one side of the field to start is an absolutely insane beginning. That is crazy. Um, but... 
Honestly, though, if even if he got the Annihilate, that still wouldn't have been bad. No. The Annihilate is pretty flexible. Again, it's well, running coaching, so you can use that to benefit your Pokemon very well. Worst case scenario, you get another support mon on your team. You could still use that with your Restricted Legend and enhance it even further. Now, there's some choices that Michael has to make. I see where he's going. You don't want the threat of the close combat on yourself there. You know oh. the moveset the Calyrex is playing with. Looks like he's going to be one thing bit about Terra Ghost. One thing about this Annihilate is it's running Final Gambit, which, if you're not aware, which I wasn't, I just have to check now, inflicts damage equal to your HP and then it faints. It's kind of like Explosion, except it does HP reliant damage instead of, um, you know, just high power. So. If he really wants to, he could even just try to take down one of these Pokemon Maridon. Oh, the Terra Ghost. That final game, it's going to be doing a lot oh, of... Oh! Wow. It's a fighting type move. So the Ditto with the Terra Ghost is going to be able to completely ignore it. And Calyrex is going to basically go down to this oh, first Wow! Turn. That's a turn one wipe of your Calyrex and then your Annihilate is basically taking down nothing. Once again, Artan's team, so flexible, so strong, but if your first turn goes wrong, it's over for you. And wow, it's it's gonna be quite the road to recovery if there is one here. You got your Ferrograph coming out next, but really, Michael has two full HP restricted on his side of the field, ready to take on anything. He might even just be switching in now to get his Whimsicott and just, again, when you have the advantage, you just want to keep pressing the matter and press the issue for your opponent while minimizing the risk that you're exposing yourself to. That's exactly what he's going to do. He has one restricted already. Why keep out both? He's going to find that final gambit, and it's going to not even take down the Whimsicott. Wow. I don't know how much HP um, Annihilate is going to have, but if it's doing all the damage equal... To, actually, no, because it was low HP. Oh, not maximum HP, it's current HP. So Ferrograph is also going to fall to the Glacial Lands. That's just going to be one Pokemon left for Artan to work with. And this Ditto, I mean, this Calyrex is just very scary. Very, very scary. It's going to be the Ursa Luna. Not a bad matchup, but a little bit... A little bad matchup when it's a 1v2. The battle is canceled. R10 going to go for the FF there. But handshakes all around. Well played by both of them. But you have to give some props to Michael. Bringing out for the sure. ditto is an absolutely ingenious idea. Being able to lead with two restricted legendaries is absolutely game-changing. Because even again, even if you did get the Annihilate, then you just use Final Gambit yourself. You'd be acting first because of the Choice Scarf, and you're going to be threatening the... At the very least, you're going to be threatening the Calyrex to the point where Discharge from your Maridon probably would have knocked it out. So you'd be getting rid of that Calyrex first turn regardless, unless it went for Protect. And if it does go for Protect, then your Calyrex isn't doing anything to threaten the Maridon for your first turn, and you're losing your basically your partner Pokemon. So there's just so many situations where the Ditto is just getting so much value. I wouldn't be surprised if that goes to really any team. I feel like, especially against Artan's team, that did it was really good, but I feel like against most competitors here today, he's gonna find a lot of value off of that imposter. Yeah, now we're gonna get to see how that does as we move into the final cut. All yes. the Swiss rounds have been decided. It's been whittled down to the best of the best. Everyone battling it out for these coveted world's points. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna be right around a corner from that. But before we get to that, we're gonna throw it to a very quick break. And we'll see you then.